Training Center at the Yuma Proving Ground wrapped up their week-long training with troops jumping out of a helicopter. News 11's Arlet Youssef with the story. A parachute malfunction and an injured jumper. But don't worry, it's all staged and for good reason. Three jumpers, three canopies. While YPG is often used to train soldiers and equipment for deployment, it's also used to enhance rescue efforts on YPG itself. Due to its massive span of desert land, anything can happen, even during training. This is always trying to train realistic as possible because something should happen for real, then we want to be ready for that. And that's what this exercise paints a picture for not only my branch chief, but bottom line, the YTC commander here on YPG. The Army and civilians worked side by side throughout the process. Like a well oiled machine, we, we work together, we, you know, we work with the DZSO, making sure all that lines of communications are open and everybody knows what's going on, we have situational awareness. The three hour simulation was possible thanks to a week long training course involving rescue equipment and standard protocol procedures. Specifically the scenario I've seen quite a few times, a jumper comes in, uh, hard landing, femur fracture, uh, basically you know, it's, it's by the book. We do everything we can to uh, stabilize that uh, and take care of it. You can never be too prepared to save a life. We're all brothers and sisters here. We all look out for each other. We all care for each other. And, and seeing somebody not get up is one of the scariest things you can see on the drop zone. While everyone knew it was a training simulation, some did not know there would be an injury, making the simulation as realistic as possible. Reporting in the newsroom, Arlette Youssef, News 11.